Yo gang, what's happening? It's your boy Busy back with a brand new video. And today, we're going into a little trading session with no indicators and show you how looking at signals from indicators is important, but being able to see and analyze the market yourself and using your indicators later is really gonna be the step for you to become a better trader. I said better trader. Uh, okay, don't even worry about it. So, you know, I want to get right into it, but before we go in, let me plug myself so don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification button, follow your boy on Instagram. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So gang, let's get right into the charts. And as you can see here, your boy been making some money on my half days. Cause you feel me? I buy, you know, I reduced the amount of videos that come out from three to two in the week but i've really been going in as you can see you can see right here for yourself i'm gonna show you my history though because you know that's how we play so this is what happened over the last week you can see here hit hit you can see the dates right on the 10th this is just all the trades i made on the 10th and you can see my overall in just that one day you can see my overall in just that one day. You can see how great everything is looking. So yeah, yesterday was a great day for me, honestly. I'm sure if you're in the Telegram channel, you'll also probably make some bang with us with the two trading sessions. So let me plug myself again. You can go check out Telegram, links will be in the description. There you can look at my trades live every day. It's your choice and whether you want to trade with it or not, it's absolutely free. You don't have to do anything. So, but today I'm going to trade with no indicators. Okay, maybe one indicator, but no, let's do it. Let's just go off of no indicators, right? I'm gonna show you how I can enter into trends and try to scalp a little bit or maybe go full on. So, First things first, we're on Euro USD. Probably the best pair to trade. I always tell you guys, stick to the basics. Euro USD, Euro JPY, those are some of the best pairs, in my opinion. Everyone was gonna have their own. So, first things I like to do first is start with my higher time frames. And first, one of the things you're looking at is just we can see like a downward movement right here. You can see it continue. And now it looks like the market is changing, of course, right here on the M15. So when we go to our M5, we want to correlate that too. So we're seeing it, we're seeing it downward. And we see that moment of change here. So that's the moment where the market kind of like changes direction right here. And so right now, what we're expecting it is to a point where the market keeps going in that way. So if we're thinking that the market will continue to go up in this situation right here, let me, let me, let me, God damn. What the hell? I can't go widescreen no more. First, let me delete this. Maybe that's right. No, I just can't go wide. I can't go wider. Okay, fuck it. This is what we need right here. This is what we're looking at. So I'll put that triangle here. Just so we can visualize a little bit more. So we've seen a zone here. Because we're looking at our five minutes. It's usually where I like to do most of my. So we'll say here recent low point here also is a recent low point but i'm just gonna put a little marker there recent highest point right here and now what i'm thinking is where is this market gonna go from here right here obviously we can see that the market is bullish so i'm gonna take a look at that at our one minute time frame and it's also bullish so uh, uh, two minutes we've got the same thing 
a little bit off but i think if we we can sculpt on one minute real quick on some of these we can see strong candle movement up there so we're looking to enter a call and now entry point is what's going to make or break the trade and i think here would have been a great point to enter into the market but not really out of the ordinary but i think now we can still take the risk right just before that one minute mark okay i think here is a not not a bad spot small I can't even see the top anymore so I'm gonna go to my five minutes or so okay all right you can see market completely goes in a direction that we were expecting even with that five minute time frame we're able to quickly scalp for a minute just because we're looking for opportunities in the market entries are very important so being able to enter a little bit below when we see that price being pushed down a little bit but we can see that the market is on a bullish run so that gives us that gives us something to work with so there's this new feature it's not a new feature it's always been here but i don't really like the new market watch as you can see we're able to take a nice little profit on it that's it right here so that's that's pretty good that's pretty good that's pretty good that is pretty good let's see if we can if we can continue to follow this trend upwards we see that if this is the highest point right here on one minute gonna go back on our five minute and see if we're seeing any deviations on our larger time frame so we can see it's starting to move in the, uh, a little bit sideways right here but you can still see that it's still moving upwards. So in this case, we might still be able to scalp for one minute real quick. We're seeing that wick was a little longer. So I'm a little worried about entering into a trade right here because I can see that price being pushed down. So I'm looking for a nice little entry point anywhere below. If I see that price push down completely. We're very close to a point where you see how this long this week is and the price has been pushed down all the way here. So I'm looking for a situation where it either flips red. I'm entering to a buy. Or if it flips green, I'm going to do the opposite. But right now, I feel like I can get caught with my hands down if I enter somewhere around here with the way, you know, the price is being pushed down right here. Okay. Okay. Let me go one minute time frame just to visualize a little more. Uh, it still feels like you could enter into a call right here. 15, 14. I'm going to reduce. I'm just because I'm not pretty sure. I feel, I think here's a good point. So I'm going to call for 250. Oh, I think I should have followed my guts on that. All right. All right. All right. Looking, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking very good. It is looking extremely good right now. Ooh, that's even better. Well, we could have entered for a thousand, but no regrets. I'm still up, what, two for two on trades? I'll take that any day any day i'll take that any day
nice little 230 profit of 250 trades a light little sum but that's it as you can see i know that using indicators is like very important for many people there's so many videos talking about what indicator combination to use or what or what are the best you know indicators to use in blah 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 time frame and people who follow only signals that are given by indicators you know but if you understand the markets the things that you can see that indicators use every single time and if you can see that with your eyes it makes it a lot easier adding the indicators just allows you to see those signals a little bit faster and you can make you know your decisions based on that so thank you for joining me for another busy trade video it's been your boy busy and i'm out